Uh, have you ever yelled at your computer? I suspect you have. What would you do if one day the computer yelled back at you? Bit of an exaggeration, perhaps, but this morning you're going to get a look, first look, really, at a computer that actually responds to the human voice and can talk back. Coming up next, a conversation with Casper. That's me. Right now, 18 minutes after, fans of sci-fi well remember Hal the Talking Computer from the film 2001. Well, reality is a step closer to science fiction with Apple Computer's new developed program that allows its computers to understand and respond to spoken commands. And for a first look at this new technology, joining us are John Scully, the chief executive officer of Apple, and Kai Fuli, the inventor of Apple speech recognition technology, and also with us this morning, Casper the Computer. Nice to have all three of you here. Thank now, you, some people might say, Mr. Scully, come on, there are other computers that, that do recognize voices and I think even synthesize voices, but how's Casper different? Well, John, this is the first time we've had a computer that can handle continuous speech the way we're having a conversation now. It's also speaker independent, which means it can recognize you or me or Kai Fu or anyone else. You have to train it to, yeah. for it to one And voice. it works on a personal computer. This happens to be a Macintosh we're running it on. That's kind of amazing. How does it do that? Well, there are two breakthroughs in here. One is speaker independence, which means we train it on thousands of speakers, so it learns what English sounds like from a variety of speakers. Ah. And secondly, we, had, we have enabled it to um, recognize continuous speech from a trillion sentences. A trillion different sentences? Yes. All right, now we're going to give you, go ahead and turn it on. We're going to give a little demonstration. I should point out, too, though, that this is not available yet. This is a prototype, and it'll be available in, what, a year or two? In Sometime several years, in we think year. we can turn this technology into products. All right. Casper, good morning. Good morning, America. And good morning, Joan. Go ahead. Casper, copy this to make right two. Casper, paste. Casper, select all. Casper, 18 point bold. Casper, word underline. Casper, 72 point italic outline. Casper, open checking. Casper, pay Macy's $65. Casper, pay Pacific Bell, 9518. Casper, program my VCR. Casper, record channel 5 from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. tonight. Casper, accept program. Casper, accept program. Casper, accept program. Casper, record Good Morning America this Wednesday. Casper, accept program. Casper, open my calendar. Casper, schedule a meeting with Bob Strong. What day would you like to meet? Casper, show this Wednesday. Casper, show this Wednesday. At what time would you like to schedule the meeting? Casper, from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. The meeting with Bob Strong is scheduled for 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Thank you, Casper. Well, I, I mean, I must say that's pretty amazing, isn't it? <laughs> okay, this is interesting because we're calling it a talking computer, but what I think is so fascinating is that it's actually a listening computer. Is that kind of fair to say? Well, that's, that's true, Joan. I think when you realize that only about 25% of the people use computers all the time, this will open up, when it becomes a product, the opportunity for many people to be able to carry a computer around in their pocket or use another personal computer to do things that they would do in their normal life. Because instead of being intimidating, it's almost going to be like a friend, right? Well, it's a whole new metaphor for computing, which is a conversational metaphor. Is it also an all-new software? Is it going to be like a software that's going to adapt to other computers or something totally built into a computer? Well, this what is running... What day would you like to meet? Oh. <laughs> He interrupted you and you're out of time, so people are just going to have to find that out when they go to buy it. Really interesting. Thank you. One heck of an invention. Thank you. We'll be back.